Hello everybody and welcome to Brain Seeds, where I put just a little thought in your head and give it the power to grow. In today's episode, we're gonna answer an important question, which is, can video games help your creativity or do video games actually take away from your brain power? Let's find out together, stay right there. Side note, who remembers Contra? That was a fun game. I'm not a huge gamer, but I have wondered before, is there something to this? Is there something to playing video games? Because playing video games really seem to stimulate the mind. There's got to be something to it. I really wanted to find out, so I did some digging, and I found some studies that were done by MSU, Michigan State University. They took 491 uh, middle school students. This was part of their Children and Technology Project, which is actually funded by the National Science Foundation. So it's totally legit. It's a legit study with almost 500 kids. What Michigan State University found is that no matter what type of game that the kids were playing and what age the kids were, it didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was the more games that they played, the more creativity they were able to show in testing, which is crazy exciting, right? I mean, it's freaking, it's like, you know, it's cool. It's cool because everybody, I mean, since I was a kid in the 80s, man, that's when this all started, you know, with Nintendo and everything. You know, Atari was around first, but the Nintendo wave, man, that came in and it was big. And, you know, me and my friends were playing Super Mario and that's how it all started. And parents were really likely back then to say, hey, you know, you can't be playing too much of this, which I think Sometimes it gets carried away. You can't be spending like six, seven hours a day on a video game. That's just too much. I'm not a huge gamer though, but still, you know, get outdoors. The graphics are awesome outside. In real life, it's sick. But this kind of backs up my whole hypothesis that I had before. And, um, you know, the games just make you think. They, they put you in situations that you wouldn't have been in before, you know? If you weren't playing that game, you wouldn't have had those thoughts or had to figure out these types of things. Um, puzzle games and, and uh, quick action games, all kinds of stuff. And playing video games has clearly shown that you can increase your dopamine levels, especially when doing something like beating a new level or completing a game, you get that, that rush, that, that sense of accomplishment, you know, and, and I think that's how some people get addicted to it because you're just giving yourself these rewards like, man, I, I beat that level, you know what I mean? The problem solving that you have to do in games along with the new worlds that you get to play in, you know, these fantasy lands and everything. And what that does is create neural pathways that wouldn't have been made without that. I mean, where else are you gonna find that type of stimulus in your everyday life? You know, you just don't get stuff quite like that. Okay, on a side note real quick, why don't you comment below and tell me what your favorite game is or what your favorite console is out of all the ones that we've been through over the years. What's your favorite and what's your favorite game? What is that? Monster energy drink with ice in a foam cup? Yeah! Monster doesn't sponsor me or anything. I'm just thirsty. Um, how many hours you should play video games a day? Has playing video games helped you with your creativity and your quick thinking? And has video games helped with your brain power overall? Like I said, this isn't a gaming channel and I'm not a huge gamer, but I will say I do enjoy some PS4 currently, and of course my old stuff, you know, PS2, PS3. Uh, I, I would like to get my hands on one of those uh, NES minis or and the uh, Super NES minis. That's what I really want. I spent a lot of time on the Super Nintendo. I love that system. That is a great system. But one of the games that I really enjoy on PS4 is a game called. Uncharted, the Uncharted series. Uh, Uncharted 5 just came out, but 
That game is really fun. It's an adventure. I mean, you, you put yourself in this situation and you get, you know, you have to find your way through these levels in the jungle and stuff and, and on beaches and then you'll be in a mansion across the world in the next level. You know, you you can't, it's really hard to get those pathways created without doing such things. I mean, it's, it puts you in a virtual reality, you know, you can really get sucked into video games. But I think it can be really beneficial and so does MSU. One game that I think is really uh, good for creativity is like Sims. If you like The Sims, why don't you go over to my sister's channel, Tigras underscore Den, and I'll put it right here. Put it right, put it right there. That'd be good. And uh, yeah, check her channel out. That's pretty cool. If you like Sims, she's part of that Sims community. So go there and show her some love. Yeah, so MSU did that study and it pretty much backs up everything that I suspected before. These kids were able to take their heads and go to a next level with their brains from playing video games, from simply playing video games and going through the motions and testing themselves. That's pretty much what it is. A game, I mean, a video game is just a game. It tests yourself, it exercises the, exercises the brain, and it puts those kids into a certain situation that without that video game, they would not have been in. That is the truth, that is the fact. So amen to video games, woo! So I wanna thank you for watching this channel. Please hit that like and subscribe. And uh, I got more content, more topics coming up with the mind, creativity, positive stuff, man. Positive stuff. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Video games are cool. Video games are crazy. Video games are cool. Even if you are lazy. Sitting down on the couch, sitting all day. Eating your chips, eating your free lonies.